So we started off simply this week by finally installing, drilling the holes for the front section of the subfloor. And we got that in and screwed and bolted down. Uh, got it all seamed up, had to make a couple of minor modifications as well as a little back section that needed to be uh, sprayed down with the rubberized paint because it was exposed to the ground underneath. Okay, so we got a new tool just delivered. Table saw. Uh, when we went up to Cape Cod back in April, my father gave me his father's old table saw, and we had intended on fixing that up and using it. And we learned pretty quickly that the fence on it was completely shot uh, and needed to be replaced, uh, wouldn't slide at all. So, tried to order a new one, and a new one would have cost $444 for I don't get it whatsoever. But, a brand new table saw was only $330. So we bought ourselves a brand new table saw. Okay. So just working on framing out here in the bus. Um, we did come to a decision this morning just because we are at our wits end with these steel panels. We've got them on the side here. Got them up top there. So, I know it looks unfinished because it is. Um, so, we have really just decided that we don't want to deal with removing those and instead we're going to take and stud out with 2 by 2s um, We're going to obviously replace the insulation that we've chipped out of here, but uh, after that, where those panels are, we're actually going to put another two inches of foam. And then hopefully that should make this process a bit easier. It'll add to our R value, which is always necessary. Uh, and it should cut a couple of weeks off of construction in here. So um with all the delays we've had we've been looking for ways where we can kind of speed this process up a bit and uh, this morning we decided that that was one of the ways we were going to do it okay so had a bit of a discovery this morning um i don't know where it came from but Last night, or yesterday, I had laid out some of the pallet wood that we're going to use as a flooring. And this morning I was picking it up because I'm going to now start framing on the passenger side of the bus. But, if you come over here, you will see the water stain. Now, I don't know if it's the wood was damp and it kind of transferred over. So I haven't had any leaking issues up until this point. Um, so, I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, we had uh, the hurricane, or what's left of it, blow through last night. So, maybe there's a weak spot I'm not sure of. But, for the time being... Nestor Strength fan, what spot, do your thing. Okay, so, just getting going this morning. Gonna finish up, uh, hopefully, the framing on this back end. Uh, Christy's taking some measurements to make sure that we don't have to add any supports in uh, for our insulation. Um, 
on these lower panels. And then we will be getting the unit strut mounted uh, up on top. Uh, and that would be a successful day if we got that. So, we'll be doing this for uh, several days. Slow process, but So next up we decided to take a break from framing and cut down our maple live edge slab that we're using for our countertops. Uh, it's 104 inches long, uh, a lot longer than we actually need, but we wanted to make sure we got the best pieces of it so we could decide kind of what section we wanted to go with within the board. Um, we ended up taking a few inches off at each end because we had discovered some cracks after we sliced through it. Even though we are going to be filling it with epoxy, uh, we just wanted that slightly cleaner look. So we quickly ran this through and <laughs> Christy had her first little nerdy moment about what we were doing on the bus. I know it's weird, but this is the sawdust that I was cleaning up earlier, and look how pretty the new sawdust is, and that's going to be the color of our new countertops. Next I crawled up onto the roof so I could install the unistrut for the solar mounts. Uh, we it first installed the 10 foot length. Uh, we actually thought this might have been enough for the entire thing. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, so as you'll see in the next picture, I was really proud of myself for this first bit, but I ended up having to cut down another piece and add in an additional five feet of unistrut on the front end to accommodate all of our panels. We just got a brand new delivery. We now have the ability to poop and pee on the bus. It's a happy day. Good morning, everyone. So I'm up here on our glorious bus roof again, uh, working on a new project. So pull this guy out. Was our skylight. It is no more. Uh, if you're in the market for a skylight, it can make you a great deal on it. But just over the edge there you'll see a white box that is our max fan and because of how much we increased the size of our solar we realized that the skylight had to go so that we could use our emergency exit hatch here to do our max fan and actually if you look down there that's our cutout for the max fan we've got it from schoolie.com it's a great deal and simplified the entire process Okay, up here on the roof, I just finished siliconing in all my seams for the Max Fan vent. Look here. Yeah. So we're just gonna let that set. Got a little bit of trap cool left. I'm gonna retouch up all the spots around it and then we'll install the fan. So in between all the steps 
in getting the max fan in we also started on the next project which was adding a step and leveling off the remaining section of the floor on the front part of the bus um, we've been talking about doing this for a while uh, but we just kind of wanted to add some floor space we're gonna put a hatch cover over the steps so that when we're underway the dogs can look out the front window the side window and uh, have a little bit better view um, it's a little unnecessary but it's something that we've talked about for a while and just wanted to make sure that we could give to our girls so today's project we're building a bulkhead here it sits out in the wall not done yet but we're reinforcing it from the back side as well and that is all so that this guy can get hung. Which is the backing plate for the mini split. Um, when we actually went and I unpacked it, um, we uh, apparently we bought the 12,000 BTU thought we bought the 18,000 so we made a bunch of modifications to our solar and electrical system to accommodate for it which we don't actually need so win-win so after I finished framing the bulkhead I looked at the thermometer and saw that it had gotten up to 117 degrees on the bus decided that it was probably best for me to get inside and cool down a bit so I went down to the basement to start finishing the wood for the live edge countertops. Now we sanded this down to 80 grit. We wanted to get rid of the marring but didn't mind if there was a little bit of surface scratches from the 80 grit paper as we're going to be doing a flood coat. We wanted to kind of get a visualization of what the table was going to look like so I laid it out on an old workbench that I had uh, just so that Christy could see what we were going to be envisioning and working with. Friday morning I went out bright and early to Lowe's and picked up a slab of malamine so that we could build out the form to pour our epoxy table. Um, here you see I've already constructed the form and I'm simply caulking all my seams uh, to make sure that none of the epoxy is going to leak out on me. Um, it was a bit of a process to get this all constructed. Uh, first time working with Malamine, I had no idea exactly how heavy this stuff was, uh, but it's what everyone has recommended for us through this process, so I went with a recommendation. Pour the glass in. We're just about ready to pour. Panels going in dry fitted ready to pull it down so on Saturday our friends Jeff and Nicole came over to help us get some work done on the bus um, the main project for the day was getting our 1200 watts of solar installed uh, because of some last-minute discoveries we actually changed the way we're going to wire everything on the bus uh, so each panel will have its own dedicated MPPT uh, and all run into a 3000 watt pure sine wave uh, inverter charger. Um, it took both of us to get these up and mounted. Uh, we were suffering from a bit of heat exhaustion so on each one of them we partially bolted them down before remembering that we hadn't yet moved our wires to the side so they could be accessed. So we then unbolted, moved the wires, rebolted. You would think after the first one we would learn, but we didn't. So this process took us about three or four hours to get all three of these panels installed, but we're really happy with the results. They do not move even in the slightest. You can't 
you can't shimmy them. Um, Unistrut was by far the best solution, at least for our applications. I know not many people have a perfectly flat roof like we do, uh, but if you do, I would highly suggest uh, looking into using Unistrut. Um, some of the brackets that came with it didn't have the correct fittings, so we ended up buying a set of strut nuts uh, in order to make everything work. Um, but it was a great solution for us, and everything is really nice and low profile, which is what it, we were looking for in this. Now after this, we did also install some perimeter lighting and do some wiring on that and we tested that to make sure it all worked however the battery in my camera completely died so i have zero footage of any of that um, in next week's video i'll do a quick explainer showing what we did and how we did it but uh, right now i just don't have any footage of that Again, we want to give a huge shout out to our friends Nicole and Jeff, uh, who came over and helped us out. We also got to meet their cute new puppy Pinecone, which is always nice. And I think our girls made a brand new friend uh, yesterday. Again, we want to give a huge shout out to our friends Jeff and Nicole for coming over and lending us a hand on the bus. We really couldn't have made the progress we did uh, yesterday without your help, uh, and we really appreciate it. For everyone else, please remember to tune in next week. We will have more on our electrical, our framing, and our solar setup, and the progress we're making on that as we speak. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and tune in next week. Have a great week.